Hey guys, it's me, Sauce Number 3, and I'm here to tell you guys something very important, actually. I've seen it in my comments time and time again, and it breaks my heart to know people do this. And that is, they stop loving something because they get bullied over it, or someone tells them to not love it anymore. I'm here to tell you guys, don't let anything come between you and what you love. If you love something, there's probably a reason behind it. You don't just find something and you think, I'm going to get into this series, I'm going to like this, without even knowing what it's about. You shouldn't let somebody else tell you what you can and cannot love. Some people like video games, some people like plushies, some people like writing, some people like editing, some people like swimming, some people like driving. Everyone has their own interests, and no one has a right to tell you, hey, you can't be interested in that anymore, you can't love that anymore. If you are getting harassed because you love something that's maybe, you know, not for your age group, or too girly, or too boyish, then you know what? That's fine. Because in the end, those people that harass you, what you love doesn't harass you. They do, but what you love doesn't. So what's really bigger here? What really means more to you? What's worth standing by? The bullies or the thing you love? I have a personal love for a video game character that some of you guys may know, some of you guys may not, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as Webkins. And some people, even my dad, thinks, you know, Sonic, you know, it's just a phase, or it's something you'll get over. It's just like, when everything is going wrong, I can go and look at Sonic stuff, or play a game, watch the Sonic Boom TV show, something like that, and it always makes me smile. That is what's important to me. Whenever I'm having a hard time, or just need someone to be there, I will turn, I will grab a Webkins, and I will hold it. And I always know they're not going to leave me. They're not going to bite me. They're not going to go ahead and stab me in the back. They're not going to call me worthless. They're going to be there. Even if they can't talk. And they're just stuffed animals. They have a meaning. Everything you love has a meaning. I'm not saying don't listen to your parents. Because sometimes there are really bad things to love like smoking, doing drugs, murdering people. That is stuff that isn't exactly welcomed to be loved for a good reason because it's harmful, not just to you, but to other people. But you are just like your parents in the sense that you're right sometimes and you're wrong sometimes. Parents don't always have the right answer. Like my parents, they're not fully supportive of me collecting webkins or my youtube channel but you know what i do it because i love it i do it because it's one of the things that make me me and it also makes me happy and right now my happiness i think is worth more than the approval of somebody else i shouldn't need to get someone to approve of me being happy as long as it's something that's not bad or harmful it's fine hey there are worse things to be obsessed with in this world than stuffed animals and video game characters or writing, driving. Like I said, there's worse things. You could be addicted to alcohol or smoking, perhaps partying. There's so many other worse things you could be addicted to. If someone is picking on you because of this, just know what you love isn't going to leave you. But those bullies eventually will. Sometimes bullies don't go away. I'm well aware of that. But you know what? If it's online, you can keep blocking the accounts. You keep blocking the accounts. You can do that. If they're completely harassing you or trying to get information about you, you can call the police and actually have them tracked down and arrested. You can do that. If it's in real life, hey, those bullies will probably grow up. And so will you. You might move away or they might move away, 
Or perhaps when you're older, you'll just let it go and you'll never see each other ever again. It will pass. The entire thing I'm trying to say is, you are your own person. No one else should choose what you can and cannot love. No one can choose what makes you happy. You are your own person. And don't let anything come between you and what you love. I guess this is the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.